Hello everyone, welcome to Biotech Notebook. This is the platform where you can learn all biotechnology concepts. Today we are going to learn how to derive performance equation for ideal plug flow reactor for a single reaction. Okay, so this is your diagrammatic representation of ideal plug flow reactor and this plug flow reactor consists essentially of a single continuous long tube or several tubes arranged in parallel. Okay. Okay, then here the reactants enter at one gain and product mixtures leaves from the other end of the reactor with continuous variation of composition of reaction mixture in between. That is along the length of the tube, you will have a variation in the composition of your reaction mixture. Okay, then this reactor is known as ideal steady state flow reactor. Then in this reactor, the flow of fluid through the reactor is orderly, okay, it is going orderly with no element of fluid overtaking or mixing with any other element of fluid ahead or behind, okay. And here there may be lateral mixing of fluid in a plug flow reactor, that is in this direction. There may be a mixing of fluid in the reactor, but there must be no mixing or diffusion along the flow path. So this type of flow is known as plug flow and the reactor is known as plug flow reactor. Then the necessary and sufficient condition for plug flow is the residence time in the reactor to be same for all elements of fluid. Okay? That means the time spent by each and every molecule inside the reactor should be same. The other names of plug flow reactor are slug flow reactor, piston flow reactor, ideal tubular reactor and unmixed flow reactor. Okay, next we will see how to derive a performance equation for ideal plug flow reactor. As I already explained, in a plug flow reactor, the composition of the fluid varies from point to point along a flow path. Okay, so here the composition is a function of location. Okay. Okay, next to derive the performance equation first we have to write the material balance for the reaction component okay so in batch reactor and mixed flow reactor the composition is uniform throughout the reactor so we have written material balance for the whole reactor plug flow reactor your composition is a function of location that is here your composition is not uniform throughout the reactor it is varying along the flow length so how we have to write the material balance so here you have to write the material balance for a differential element of volume dp why because so in plug flow reactor we are taking a thin section of volume and assuming that there should be a uniform composition throughout this volume okay and we are writing material balance for this differential element of volume dv Okay, then to derive the performance equation, first we have to consider a single homogeneous reaction A gives B. Here A is reactant and B is your product. Okay, so for reactant A, the material balance on mole basis over a differential element of volume dV is your input of A in moles per time to dV is equal to output of A in moles per time from dV plus rate of disappearance of A by reaction within dV in moles per time plus rate of accumulation of A within dV in moles per time. Then as PFR is operating at steady state, the accumulation term of above equation becomes zero. So your equation is input is equal to output plus disappearance plus accumulation. Okay. In PFR, you are giving your reactant inside the reactor and you are withdrawing the product continuously. So and we are assuming that there is no accumulation of your reactant or product inside the reactor. So this term turns to zero. Okay. So input is equal to output plus disappearance. This is your equation number one. So next we are going to evaluate input, output and rate of disappearance for differential element of volume dV. So input of A in moles per time is equal to Fa. Okay. Then output of A in moles per time is equal to Fa plus dFa. Okay, then rate of disappearance of A by reaction is equal to minus Ra into dV. Okay, because here we are going to calculate the rate of the reaction only for the differential volume of the reactor, not for the whole reactor. So, we are writing dV, not V. 
in case of batch reactor and mixed to flow reactor multiplying the rate of the reaction with volume of the reactor but in plug flow reactor we are multiplying with differential volume so here minus or a is nothing but moles of a reacting divided by time into volume of fluid into dv dv is nothing but your volume of differential element Okay, next we are going to introduce these three terms that is input output and disappearance in equation one so you will get fa that is input is fa is equal to your output that is fa plus dfa plus rate of disappearance okay rate of disappearance is nothing but minus ra into dv so here you will cancel it out this fa and fa so you will get this term will come this side so minus dfa is equal to minus ra into dv so this is your equation number two then we know that fa is equal to fa naught into one minus xa that is in terms of conversion we are writing and fa naught is into one is equal to fa naught then fa naught into xa is equal to fa naught into xa okay so now we are going to differentiate okay so we want dfa so differentiate this equation you will get dfa is equal to so fa naught is uh, constant so it becomes zero so you will get minus fa naught into dxa okay so just substitute this equation 3 in equation 2 so you will get dfa is nothing but fa minus fa naught into dxa so this minus this minus will cancel it out so you will get fa naught into dxa is equal to minus ra into dv this equation 4 is accounting for reactant A in the differential section of reactor volume dV. Okay, so to calculate for the whole reactor, we have to integrate the above equation. Okay, then in equation number 4, I just written here your FA naught. Okay, so your FA naught that is the feed rate is constant and minus r a that is your rate of reaction is depends upon the concentration or conversion of your materials that is your reactant so here minus r a is variable okay next we are going to integrate this equation number four after rearranging the term accordingly so you will get integration of zero to v dv divided by fa naught is equal to integration of zero to x a f d x a divided by minus r a if you integrate the above equation you will get dv is equal to v so when you apply the limits uh, v minus 0 that is equal to v divided by fa naught is equal to integration of 0 to x f dx a divided by minus r a then we know that v by fa naught is equal to tau by c a naught that is equal to the integration of 0 to x a f dx a divided by minus r a where tau is space time okay I already explained in the last video if you want you can refer my last video that is the performance equation uh, of mixed flow reactor okay in that video i explained what is space time and space velocity okay. so tau is equal to v by nu naught is equal to v c a naught divided by f a naught that is equal to c a naught into 0 to x a f d x a divided by minus r a so this is your equation number five this equation phi is the performance equation for plug flow reactor for any epsilon a that is for a constant volume system and also for varying volume system okay and this equation 5 is used to determine the reactor size this volume of the reactor for a given feed rate or given conversion okay next we will compare the performance equations of mixed flow reactor and plug flow reactor performance equation of plug flow reactor is v by f a naught is equal to tau by c a naught that is equal to 0 to x a f d x a divided by minus r a here minus r a is depends upon the concentration or composition of your reactant so here minus r a is variable okay Next, the performance equation of mixed flow reactor is V by F A naught is equal to tau by C A naught is equal to X A by minus R A. So, here in mixed flow reactor, your minus R A is constant. So, here there is no integral sign and uh, compared to PFR, your uh, performance equation of MFR is very simple and here you can calculate the volume of the reactor directly without any integration. Okay, next we can write the performance equation of plug flow reactor for number of situations. So, the first condition is your feed is partially converted. Okay, so if your feed is partially converted, then we have how to write the feed on which conversion based. So, the equation 5 becomes V by F A naught 
is equal to integration of x a i to x a f d x a divided by minus r a. So performance equation is tau is equal to v by nu naught is equal to v c a naught divided by f a naught that is equal to c a naught into integration of x a i to x a f d x a divided by minus r a. So this is your equation number 6 for the field is partially converted. So here xa i is conversion of a at the inlet and xa f is conversion of a at outlet of the reactor. Okay, next we are going to derive performance equation for constant density system in terms of concentration. General performance equation is v by f a naught is equal to tau by c a naught that is equal to integration of 0 to x a f d x a divided by minus r a. So here we are going to convert this x a in terms of concentration. Okay, so we know that x a is equal to c a naught minus c a divided by c a naught. So x a is equal to 1 minus c a by c a naught. Then you differentiate the above equation that is dx a is equal to differentiation of 1 is 0. So minus 1 by c a naught into d c a. Okay, so you just substitute this in general performance equation you will get v divided by f a naught is equal to tau by c a naught that is equal to 0 to x a f d x a divided by minus r a is equal to minus 1 by c a naught into integration of c a naught to c a f d c a divided by minus r a so c a naught is initial concentration of the reactant a and c a f is initial final concentration of your reactant a so tau is equal to v by nu naught is equal to C A naught into 0 to X A D X A divided by minus R A that over here C A naught and C A naught will cancel it out. So you will get minus integration of C A naught into C A D C A divided by minus R A. This is for X law A is equal to 0 that is for constant density system. Equation number 7 is the performance equation for constant density system. Next compare the performance equations of plug flow reactor and batch reactor in case of systems of constant density system okay that is for constant volume batch reactor and for constant volume plug flow reactor your performance equations are identical so just see so space time for tau is equivalent to time for batch reactor and in terms of conversion your equation is c a naught into 0 to x a f d x a divided by minus r a both for p f r and p r it is identical and in terms of concentration your equations are identical that is minus integration of c a naught to c a f d c a divided by minus r a but it is applicable only for epsilon a is equal to 0 that is for constant volume plug flow reactor constant volume batch reactor okay so for constant volume system you can use the performance equations interchangeably as in case of changing density system there is no direct correspondence between the batch and plug flow performance equation and we have to use the correct equation for particular situation Next, let's see about the graphical representation of ideal plug flow reactor. So, graph 1 is for the general performance equation of ideal plug flow reactor. So, here your x axis is 0 to x a, your y axis is 1 by minus r a. Then, area under the curve gives the space velocity that is, area is equal to v by f a naught is equal to tau divided by c a naught. The graph number 2 is for constant density system. Here, your x axis is in terms of concentration and your y axis is 1 by minus r a. And here, you are getting a negative slope because here, area under the curve that is tau is equal to c a naught into v divided by f a naught that is equal to minus integration of c a naught to c a f d c a divided by minus r a. 